Hey guys, it's Carl Brown, guitarlessons365.com. Today we're gonna to learn the main riff to Sunshine of Your Love by Cream. Now, uh, this one's you know pretty identifiable, so. Uh, he actually plays it a little bit differently these days when you see him play it live than he did on the recording. I just wanna bring that to your attention real quick, just in case you're like watching some other videos of him playing live, but that's not complete the right way. Um, first of all, he has this big opening now with power chords, which he doesn't do on the recording. And this phrase up here, he kind of plays this with a straight major triads now instead of the the more dissonant um, what it, thing that we're going to be doing in this video. So I'll, I'll, when I get there, I'll just show you how you can do it, how he does it now, or does it did it back in the day. All right. So let's just start out here. We're going to start with on the D string. And that is going to be the twelfth fret, twice to the tenth, back to the twelfth. All right, then we're going to do a little chromatic. That's just on the A string, 12, 11, 10. All right, then we're going to shift back to the 8th fret. And we're going to go... So just so the 10th uh, fret is played on the 6th string with your 3rd finger. Then come over to the 1st finger, 8th fret there on the um, A string. So we have this... Then you're going to come back to the 10th fret on the low E. Now the best way to do this and grab, start the, the phrase over again is to take that note that ends the phrase with your thumb. So, all right, so that's just the 10th fret twice there, but I'm coming over and grabbing it with my thumb. So all together. All right, so that allows the third finger to just quickly grab now, if you don't want to use your, third, your your thumb, you can use your first finger maybe, but it's kind of a quick sh jump. But so it's the same thing again up top, except now those two lower notes, you just hit them each once instead of twice. All right, now we start playing those chords. He starts uh, kind of adding a little bit of uh, harmony to it. All right, so that is going to be this 12th fret on the A, 10th fret on the D, and 11th fret on the G string. Hit that twice. Shift it down to this major triad shape, which is the 10th fret on the A and the D string, along with the 9th fret on the G. So it's the same three strings. You're gonna wanna mute those pretty heavy though, so they don't, they're not too big sounding. Now, the, the difference, what I talked about earlier, what he, does now instead of playing this, this he just puts his pinky there and plays that major triad on both of them. So if you like the sound of that better, just do that instead. Still works great. So we have this, then back to that on the uh, fifth string, and then instead of the ending we were doing before, it's now. Now that is what he's doing is he's playing a G major chord. Uh, that's the 10th fret on the uh, A string with your 12th fret on the B, G, and D strings. <clears throat> now, he's usually just hitting kind of the D and the G when he's hitting it, but sometimes he'll hit the high, the B, or the, the whole chord. And then you're playing the 10th fret on the G with some big vibrato on it, and then over to the 12th fret on the D. All right, so we got this. All right, then back to that same. So 
So that's going to go on twice, and then the vocals come in, and it happens four more times with the vocals. All right, and then he goes to this. So that's just that full uh, G major chord. Well, you can do the bar with your third finger if you want. Down to the F, just two frets down, and then back. Now we're doing that little chromatic line on the uh, D string, then shift back to the 8th fret. It's the same thing, it's just basically on the you know one string lower. Then you do this chords again. And then we have a little bit different ending here. All right, it's a little bit of a skip again. You gotta grab something with your thumb, but we have, so we have, you play that once on the um, A string, three times on the, the eighth fret there on the D string. So I'm gonna grab that A again, the 10, and then hop down and grab the 10 on with your thumb on the E string. And then we just start that phrase over. So. Same chords as before, we're back down to the lower string. In the same way we kind of started the song, let's jump it back here. And then back to these chords one more time. This time, you're gonna end it with the big chord hit in the, those two notes to end it. Uh, extra credit, uh, th that was the main riff. Pretty easy to follow, it's very repetitive. He does, uh, after that, go to the A major chord, then a C major, and G. Go right back to it. All right, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you again with another one very soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.